speak about like how we're gonna. Are we gonna get? Into Oh yeah, you continue to learn more about her. I mean, part of what's so great about the character of Supergirl is, you know, Superman came to Earth as a baby, so he grew up with these incredible powers. Kara spent the first 12, 13 years of her life with no powers, and she came to a planet where, that tells teenage girls to suppress their power. And so for her, like, becoming an adult, for her, becoming an adult woman is getting back in touch with that. So um, you're gonna, and also she had the trauma of losing everyone she knew as a young girl, and, and she has memories of Krypton, and so for, like, we're going to continue to see and learn about that, it really plays into the sort of, the bad guy plot of the whole first season, um, and so there's so much more story to tell, both in the present and the past. Will you use flashbacks on the show? Yeah, definitely. Um, we'll just, you know, we're con we'll continue to explore all the assets of who Kara is, her family and her life, which I think means that we'll be seeing more. Everything. Could we see jor in the flashbacks, perhaps? Um, I, I don't even know how to answer that. <laughs> <laughs> okay, tell us about the direction of this first season. Um, for us, you know, the world is sort of a, can be a very dark and difficult place. I mean, people have hard lives. And uh, there's something really, we hope to deliver an hour of fun, you know, and of hopefulness. And I think that's really, hope is the cornerstone of the Superman and Supergirl kind of uh they're, they're, they're sort of, it's central to who they are, it's the hope that they offer, and so that's what we hope to do. So throughout the first season, I think we're going to continue to blend tones, uh, there will be the comedy, there will be the drama, and there will be the emotion, and that's why we're so lucky to have Melissa and this incredible cast to can deliver all of them. Uh, can you tease any sort of other DC characters that we might get in? Uh... Yeah, I could, then I can. <laughs> <laughs> That's a good reason to watch every week. <laughs> so, uh, Kara's powers start immediately, immediately in the pilot. Yeah. Um, what, uh, what do you think, like, do you think we should be developing her powers even more? Well, no, but she's, season? you have to understand, like, as soon as she got to Earth, she had those powers, and she came to a world that tells, as I said, tells teenage girls to suppress who they are, anything that makes them different. And so Kara suppressed all of it. So she's always had the powers, but what she's doing is getting back in touch with them. She hasn't used them, she's a little rusty, and she hasn't necessarily been trained. And that's one of the ways that Alex, her sister on the show, uh, beautifully played by Kyler, uh, can, can really help her. In a lot of ways, Kyler is a lot more of a superhero than Kara is. She's got the ability, but she's never allowed herself to be all of who she can be until now, which is going to be really fun and I think a great message for everyone. Now, in terms of position, I know that there's obviously some things that you cannot use in the YouTube video, but because you put this so into the whole thing of all of it, how, like, what is the easy style that you have? Like, what can you, because I know that a lot of times in the pilot, they refer to as, instead of Superman, you say he, 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 cousin, cousin, cousin. But see, you know what, what's interesting is that's actually, it's not, it's not that DC said, oh, you can't use Superman. But it's really important to us, this show's about Superman. Oh, yeah. Right? And so it's not about the man, it's about the woman. And, and the woman is the one that we don't know enough about. Um, and so for us, it's not so much like can we or can't we, but why should we? This is her story, and it's about her becoming a superhero. You know, very early on, when the idea of doing a Supergirl show first came on, came up, I said to Greg, I was like, Supergirl, 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 we have to do Supergirl. Because I really do believe there aren't enough strong female characters in film or television. We try to do it across all of our shows, from Era, Flash, uh, Blind Spot, which is going to be on NBC. Uh, and so Greg called me, I remember it really clearly, and he said, I figured it out. It's like Ginger Rogers. She has to do everything Fred Astaire does, but backwards is new. <laughs> and that's what Supergirl has to do. And in a lot of ways, that's what makes it far more exciting story to tell. Could you talk about some of uh, how you will be able to do it differently? If you're doing it backwards, there are going to be variations. How can you branch out in the superhero narrative that you can do with Superman? Well, what I think, you know, look, I grew up loving Superman, and in fact, like, the Dick Donner Superman films were are a great reference for us, you know, because they really had that sense of fun and wonder and excitement and, um, and hopefulness. And so we're, we are capturing all of that. But what we can do differently with Supergirl is the fact that this is someone who grew up normal for 13 years. She's amazed by these powers, too, and she has to come to terms with them. Uh, it's not, you know, and so for us, there's so much, in a way, like, she's much, she's very relatable because of that, you know. She doesn't feel like she fits in. She doesn't feel like, 
um, she's sort of all of who she can be, and the idea that the world is sort of helping her and pushing her, and these other characters are supporting her as she discovers all that she can be. So I think, like, I just think it's very relatable to everyone. We all have that sort of heroic ability, and the idea of like whatever your best self is, finding the strength in this world to be your best self isn't easy. And so I think part the complexity of Kara's backstory lends us to explore sort of ideas and angles that we haven't seen before. Could you talk a little bit about uh, the decision to bring uh, Cora's parents um, <laughs> and well, later? Well, of course. I mean, look, we're big fans of these shows and of these films. And so I think you'll notice in Flash, Eric, like we always try and honor the past of, of this kind of... Uh, the past interpretations, and so for us, like getting Helen Slater was great. But what's also great about Helen is she's a great actress, and you'll see more of what she can do as we move forward. Um, and Dean was just—I mean, it, it's like fun. It's fun for the audience. It's fun for us as fans. So um, we'll continue to do that however we can uh, because we're kind of nerds too. So. In the past iterations of Supergirl comics and animated series. There's lots of different costume guys. You sort of started with uh, a basic idea of it. Uh, might she can go through changes herself and decide to change Yeah, but I will say, well. like, you know, we spent a lot of time in the costume. We're very, very lucky to have the Academy Award winning costume designer Colleen Atwood design Supergirl's costume. Um, and, you know, she did The Flash and she did Arrow. And I actually ran into her last summer and I said, I think we have something else for you. And she goes, I hope it's a girl. And I was like, I think you'll be happy. Um, and so uh, part of what the costume for us was, it was about honoring the legacy of all those others, but we're not objectifying her. She's not an object. It's not about an over-sexualization of her. And, that's, and also it has to be practical. Like, I don't understand how anyone can fly in a skirt. Like, it's just, it's, it's too X-rated. Um, and, uh, and she has to kick a lot of ass. So to do that, she has to make something sort of comfortable. So we found something that felt fresh and cool. I think that's really important to us, is that it's, it's something that little girls are going to want to wear. So the idea that they're going to want to wear something that has sleeves, that doesn't show their bellies, is exciting to us. Thank you.